that um, do a little politics here. As a 501c3, we cannot uh, advocate for or against any specific candidate for office. We can point out here's an issue that ought to be in all three of the runoff campaigns in the state of Georgia, both of the Senate campaigns and the Public Service Commission. The Okefenokee Swamp and the titanium strip mine that's proposed within a few miles of it, the titanium dioxide for paint. Is that worth risking the Okefenokee Swamp? No, and where does that stand now? That battle's been going on. You've been fighting that for over a calendar year. Yes, and uh, unfortunately, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has completely washed its hands and walked away saying, oh, there's no waters of U.S. near there. Stop. That's right. So I don't know what it takes to do that kind of mining. Obviously, we, we see down in Hamilton County what it takes to mm -hmm. to phosphate mine and what and what's left behind, and that's obviously not what we want. Well, this same company, Twin Pines Minerals, the people involved in it are from Alabama, by the way. Their background is coal mining. Uh, they were processing tailings at Camours Mines right across the state line on Trail Ridge in Florida, and they're still under a Florida consent order for a range of violations, not collecting uh, water quality tests, not doing reports, and letting wastewater leak during Hurricane Irma. Does sound like the kind of company we want doing this? John, Plus, that's an easy answer. <laughs> Plus, the guy that's the president of it was also one of the proponents of the biomass plant in Franklin County, Georgia, the one that caused the massive fish kill. And the state of Georgia had to literally pass a law to stop them burning railroad ties. So, so there's a question, since John's talking about the runoff candidates, there's a question you can ask when you get them in close quarters or when they do a press conference or otherwise that they might not otherwise expect. Well, they ought to be expecting it because they ought to be protecting the Okefenokee Swamp, that world-famous treasure. You know, it provides more than 700 jobs, 600 million, excuse me, 60 million dollars worth of revenue every year, and of course, it is the headquarters of both the St. Mary's and the Salani River. This thing that I showed him is a letter I wrote to the governor of Georgia because the only thing standing between the miners and the swamp at this point is the state of Georgia with the five permit applications the miners have filed. So you can also write to Governor Kemp and ask him to ask the Georgia Environmental Protection Division to, at the very least, extremely thoroughly examine those permits, hold public hearings, ask, require the miners to supply much missing information, some of which I've outlined here in this letter, and each of the elected officials as well, you know, for example, John Corbett, who's at a state house district, has the mine site, or the uh, you know, state senator, Alice Black, current state senator, Russ Goodman, senator-elect, and all the others, Tyler Harper in particular. Get them up to speed, John. Get them up to speed and get them off the fence. Last time I talked to Tyler Harper, he was sitting on three sides of the fence on this. Oops. So, sorry, Tyler. Good luck. Time to take a side. And how about siding for the Okie Swamp? Please. All right.